Hello guys, welcome back to a new Black Desert mobile video. In this video guys, I'm gonna show you how you can get faster, how you can craft faster the new uh, Absolute gear, the pink gear and also the Abyssal if you don't have the red gear. Because first you have to get the Abyssal and also guys, I'm gonna test the drop rates for the new season boss, okay, bosses. I have, uh, I'm gonna do like 50 runs or more, I have in here 18 for Karanda. So let's get start first guys, if you want to get more, so the new gear plus the Abyssal, the red, I'm gonna test if I can get any red, uh, can drop also from this wall bosses. New season should give a higher chance for the red and also more fragments, okay, so more fragments, I'm gonna test that. So, uh, another factor to increase the chance, guys, make sure you have an alchemy stone. Uh, let's see, let's amplify it. Brave stone of honor, which will increase the uh, damage for the world against the world bosses. So, I'm gonna try to uh, level it up a little. Okay, let's see. I'm not gonna use too many because the rest I need for. Okay, let's see, plus 15 I want. Okay, there we go. So try to max it, because at max, uh, if you also awaken, try to awaken it and also enhance it, because that way you'll get more damage and other extra buffs. Same, you're gonna see for the luck stone, and you're gonna see why that is also important. It will help you farm faster, guys. You're gonna see. So, uh, let's see. We have equipped this. Now, let's go and test the drop rates for these bosses. I have, I think, 80 runs for Karanda. And then, guys, I'm gonna talk about more how you can increase, uh, how you can um, get faster Abyssal and also Pink Gear. Pink Gear being the new gear. Absolute Gear is called in here. Pink we called from Korea because if you if you saw you need lots of material see 900 for the weapon 900 multiplied by 3 that's 2700 and for the the rest of the armor you need 240 that's 720 no no actually more is 960 I think 960 so close to 1000 of these fragments and the uh, abyssal you still need the abyssal so first you need to get the abyssal so in here let's see can i choose the multiplier or let's see how it works or it, it will use automatically all the runs that i have i'm not sure we're gonna see because i have 18 runs for this boss so where you can select how many 18 C. Oh, sorry for that. Sound is too loud. And another tip, guys, try to uh, start this boss when it's uh, almost full health or full health. Okay, so that way you'll increase the chance. Use the ultimate. So try to do more damage. Try. You know by now, you know that. So let's see. So will I get the multiplier 18 or because I didn't see where you can select I have to double check again. So let's see the rewards season. These are season 3 so they increase the rates. Let's see how many fragments and see Karanda reward. No it's a uh, oh I got 5 so we get I think from 3 to 6 fragments both fragments to craft the gear. We are getting now premium grade crystals. We get the good uh, black stones also, the chest, skill books we used to get, accessories, and we're getting also magical essences, guys. So let's do more runs. But how you can increase the multiplier? I don't know. Let me check. So, wall boss, they say, they said that. We can do that, so let me see, maybe I can select from here. 
use all ah wait I know why <laughs> Garand right so I can use all of them one or okay so I got how many okay let's use one more so I want five okay so I think that's how you can do it so first you have to open and now you can select the multiplier let's try five first five multiplier and then I'm gonna try ten multiplier like I told you very important try to start from C like I started right now okay and make sure you have enough potions not like me <laughs> health potions come on okay come on bro don't attack me when he does that you can roll you can use the dodge like boom press it when but seems he's not coming my way okay come on let's do this I want to see if I can get better so the idea I want to see if you have a higher multiplier will you get better higher chance to get better rewards or so we try multiplier one so one run now five and then ten and guys I suggest to save the extra boss runs okay save them because in the future they will give us even more fragments from the boss run so uh, for the long run maybe it's better to save them but you can use some of them if you need the few to craft the abyssal gear the red gear and by the way the red gear I don't know if you noticed uh, now gives more CP especially the weapon main weapon 160 more AP than before if you don't believe me check this out 845 wasn't that high before it was below was 600 50 something or something like that or close to 700 now it's 845 so yeah same for the the other pieces they have more defense okay so this is the multiplier and check this out guys we're getting Karanda reward I'm gonna open them I got four of them so one I didn't get uh, so what else oh seriously Ah, so these are for one run and this will be for the other runs the, the other four extra four runs so it will show guys like this for the current run will show what you got and then you have the other chest for the extra runs in here that you can open I'm gonna open after let's do another run for 10 oh no 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 I need to open 10 use uh, one now use all nine more confirm oh I got 12 anyways <laughs> okay so I'm gonna use 10 this time multiplier so let's see and then I'm gonna open those chests I'm gonna open to see what we'll get and then I'm gonna explain how you can get those because now you can craft abyssal and also the new gear that's the only way actually one of the two ways you can get the pink gear is from these wall bosses and also from crafting in the future and I suggest to save your gold coins uh, they might add also possibility to get it from Shakato who knows also maybe from farming so we don't know yet, we'll see. Come on. I don't know, this time did I start it from the beginning? From He was 20. Uh, he had 20 bars or full? I didn't check. Okay, let's use the ultimate. Oh, no way, bro. Exactly at the end. 
He managed to escape. What? He, he wanted to send me to the town, you saw? That was funny. Okay, just roll. Roll when he's doing that. So he won't... He won't damage you. Okay, let's see. And also you have multiplier, will be a multiplier for the... I think for the knowledge, hopefully, we'll see. Because right now I'm getting one knowledge, one uh, boss knowledge. So when I'm gonna open that chest, hopefully, and I got nine. See, nine, that's the difference. And this one I got ultimate crystal, wow. Uh, 10 unique to abyssal, great crystal. Okay, wow, you can get even abyssal. Okay, Grand Blackstone Sacks, I got 3 Dandelion, so I, I think 3 is the lowest you can get. 336 Magical Essences, some Skill Books, and this, definitely Black Crystals. Okay, let's open. So I got in total how many? 4 plus 9, that's 13. So let's go and open. Do we get also the boss? The boss knowledge? Extra boss knowledge? If I open, let's see. If not, they need to fix it and compensate us. <laughs> okay, let's see. Nine. Here we go. Okay. Wow. Wow. That is crazy. I'm still opening that? That's insane. Okay, let's see how many boss fragments uh, we got in total. Where are those? Okay, 44 Dandelion gear, uh, gear Fragments. We got 21, I think, Premium Grade Crystals. Uh, what else? Where is the... Ah, 4198 Magical Essences. I didn't got the boss knowledge. So that's a ripoff, guys. I didn't got the boss knowledge. Why? It's not okay. So that means... They need to fix, we need also the multiplier for the boss knowledge, what, why? Why they do that? We got, I got wall boss crystal chest, epic to six of them, to abyssal. And I still have four more, oh wait, I still have four. Oh wow, okay, so actually I got more guys. I have two extra, okay, let me see if I can make some room by going to the camp because it seems I got more I still had the I have a few more to open but the boss knowledge we don't get the boss knowledge which is not good it's not good at all so let me put this back okay okay so hopefully it will be enough to open. Okay, so now it's enough. Now we see how, mu how much. 60, I got 60 guys, Dandelion Gear Fragments. Okay, that's a lot. Um, 28 Premium Grey Crystal Chest. Uh, 5,584 magical essence. It's good that they added to the boss because it's hard to get those. Um, I got nine wall boss crystal chest, epic to abyssal. Actually, there are ten. I think ten on each or something like that. Uh, what else? And uh, let me see. Okay, I got this ones. I got gear epic and accessories. I got two epic, three epic, no, two epic and skill books. Okay, but I didn't got the boss knowledge. They definitely need to fix that. Okay, now so now uh, let's talk about this. Let's talk, let's talk about how you can uh, get faster the abyssal, first the abyssal and then the absolute. Okay. So, as you can see, for Abyssal you need 150 fragments. By now, you should be able to craft most of them. 
Uh, let's see for helmet. I still need. Oh, I didn't. I don't have the fragments in here. So it's very easy, guys, now to farm them. You know why? I'm gonna show you. But first, I have to do something, and you're gonna see why. So I need to equip my alchemist stone, the luck stone of luck, uh, stone of luck, and I already awaken it. And if you awaken it, guys, you get extra stats. You get 68 attack and 68 defense. And let's try also to uh, enhance it. And I'm gonna explain after why. So, should I do auto enhance? Let's do auto enhance. Yeah, let's go. There's the possibility to do auto enhance. Nice. So, increased attack and defense perfect and if i get it guys to four from four see the stats attack defense and and also the drop rate of the spoils of battle will increase at maximum 20 but that will be hard to reach so why i did that guys because the best way guys to get the fragments to craft abyssal and pink besides the wall bosses is so let's go, I'm gonna go to the town, is getting them from uh, the new shop, okay, related to Hadoom mode, so it's in any town, uh, this one, okay, let's reach there, okay, so in here you can buy any of the fragments guys, it costs maximum, the most expensive is this one, red nose, 1360 and cheapest ones are like 920 and you need what you need for this you need these dark um, dark coins as you can see I have 13,824 and this I got from one day of farming so what you need to do how you can farm that much and even more so first tip guys get stone of luck this will increase the drop rate of spoils of battle and also the drop rate cooldown so that means you'll get more spoils of battles so you'll get more of those uh, dark uh, crystals or dark coins dark coins and more of everything so let's go actually let's go to one of the places that i saved also the next another tip get the fastest farming class so assassin get the destroyer get also good at farming also the the hunters is still good but the fastest ones i would say assassin destroyer maybe the um, i don't know you have to test also i check my previous video also where i showed you uh, the classes and how i test them the classes that i already tested so if you check guys in here see you get this is the dark coin and you get the dark sculpture, chaos crystals and experience scrolls. And always try to find an area where they are more close together, like in here, where you find also, see this one in here also you have the elite boss, because that one will drop more of those. And make sure there are not too many people around, okay? And equip your best farming skills so you have to test which skills will give you see dark coin I got 11 will give you more of this material so if you do that you should be able to farm uh, these dark coins like 10,000 plus per day and remember you need this okay vials of light holy vials uh, all of light how you can get more of these ones and the blessing tier doesn't affect guys the spoils of battle it affects only the knowledge the knowledge and experience that's it so i suggest to use on the tier one the minimum so that way this uh, you won't burn too fast these vials of light because you need them to farm so that's very important if you want to gain fast knowledge then you can because you get 500% more knowledge and also experience. If not, and that way if you use the Blessing of Light tier 1, you can farm the entire day, even during the night. So you can farm non-stop. 
So that means you'll get more of those uh, coins, dark coins, to get the materials, to buy the materials, so you can craft the first the abyssal and then the pink gear. So with you saw with those uh, I have now 15,000, no, close to, close to 14,000. I should be able to get like 15, about from uh, 11 to 15 different uh, fragments of, of my choice per day. So that means in 10 days of farming I should get anywhere from 10 to, uh, sorry, from um, 100 to 150 fragments of my choice. So every 10 days guys you can craft even faster than every week almost you can craft one abyssal gear. Why? Because you need actually no. Wait. Because for the armors, check this out, for the armors you need only 40. So that means in 4 days or so I'm able to craft any of the armors. For weapon you need more because let's see for weapon you need 150. So for weapon you need about 10 days, something like that, maybe less. So that's very cool. After you craft or you can get from Shakratun or you can save to craft this ones guys. So how much time will take you? Well in 100 days of farming, that's about more than 3 months, you'll get how much? 1500. Okay, 1500. But in time they will increase the drop rates of this the dark coins and the other materials. Also from the wall bosses. Keep in mind you still get so you should farm the wall bosses every day. The wall bosses, sorry. <laughs> now you get more materials from there. Also there is that shop where you can buy with uh, silver. Maybe they increased in there. Let me go and check. So there is that uh, shop where you can farm with silver. Where you can buy with silver these fragments. So um, in case you don't know. Okay, where is the... I think they changed... Oh, it was an event. Okay, so they replaced it with, the, with this one. And don't forget the events. Some of them will give you extra boss runs. So let me see, like totems. Not extra boss, uh, event certificate and the event certificate, if I go from El Bellucci, you can buy, see fragments, you can buy fragments, just, and I'm sure they will add other events, so only this from here you can buy, so if you don't believe me, let's see how many I can buy right now, see 10, how about this ones, you can buy 15. So guys, uh, what can I say? Happy farming, try to find the best area where there are not too many people and don't forget to use, very very important, chicken soups. Chicken soups and also the scrolls, the hot time scrolls. I don't have any right now. So guys, this was the video. I'm gonna do more videos. Let me know how many you can farm per day and on average of the dark coins. A dark yeah dark coins and see you